David Brown, just how complicated is it trying to plan this sort of mission? Pretty complicated. Um, as Monsieur Onier was saying, the, the dynamics involved, the, the mechanics involved, this is some quite, um, quite complex mathematics. Um, these days, of course, it can be done um, relatively quickly uh, on, on high performance computers. Um, that doesn't make it easy. It, it still requires significant computing power. Um, and of course, you really want to double and triple and quadruple check the calculations um, because you don't want to miss uh, miscalculate um, and end up in a situation where you have to chase the station, um, as as was just being said. So it's a tricky it's a tricky maneuver. There's a there's a these are very good reasons why why missions are so precisely timed um, to reach the station or indeed for any kind of space exploration. So presumably, uh, Jean Pierre Enuret, if you get the timing wrong on the ground, that could mean having to cancel the mission theoretically. Cancel the mission in which condition? If you if you miss that very specific time oh, slot. Well, uh, yes, but then you report to the following days, uh, and you wait for the following days that the, uh, again the plan of orbit correspond to to the launch pad. Uh, I, just uh, just a word of what has been said. Re I remember that uh, when I flew in the 90s for my first flight on the Soyuz, a computer has a memory of my watch uh, I have now. So you understand that all this computation, and especially the data elements which are necessary to make the computation, were not could not be loaded permanently or in advance, far in advance in, in the space vehicle computer. And they had to be loaded progressively any time uh, especially for the re-entry. Every day we were, uh, the ground control in Moscow, were loading the parameters for an emergency landing in uh, the Soyuz computer. Now with the computer they have, the, the performance is far easier to, to be performed. And there's a huge amount of data for the astronauts uh, to collect and to interpret, presumably. Well, as far as I understand, on the uh, Crew Dragon, uh, most of the maneuver are completely automatic, uh, but uh, clearly uh, and evidently reported on the big screen which are before the astronaut. This is a big progress. Uh, Thomas uh, has been uh, describing how, how easy or ergonomic the system of the Crew Dragon is and how with the use of color, with the use of automatic uh, uh, indication by the screen of the sequence that you are leaving and the state of the system of the spacecraft, or it is easy to control and to follow what the, what the spacecraft is doing, in fact. But in fact, during this launch, uh, there is not much you can do, even in my time uh, with the Soyuz system. Uh, a rocket is essentially instable. So there is no way to control a rocket in a degraded mode. There is no way to control it like you control an aircraft. Therefore, most of the things are automatic. And uh, you, you have to support what's going on more than controlling itself.